here with Kerry Byrne. Welcome back to a Thanksgiving tailgate at Gillette Stadium. So, Kerry, what's on the menu? Well, we kick off with some great appetizers, Kelly. Green Bay style bratwurst, candied bacon, something called hot pickled tomatoes, and then the main event, a complete Thanksgiving dinner cooked right here in the parking lot. Deep fried turkeys, homemade cranberry sauce, vegetables steamed in beer and butter, and we close it out with my masterpiece, Kelly, deep fried stuffing. All right, so we're kicking off our uh, Thanksgiving tailgate. We need a couple of appetizers before the turkeys are ready. And we're going to start with a little bratwurst, which is obviously always a popular tailgate favorite. I think it's actually the number one tailgate food. But we're not doing any old bratwurst. We're actually got the recipe from the executive chef at Lambeau Field in Green Bay. So we're doing them the way bratwurst were meant to be done at a football game. We cook a little onions and butter, add some beer. In this case, we're going to put some Hapoon Oktoberfest. We're here at George Stadium. Want to put a little New England flavor on it, harpoons right from, made right in Boston, and steam up the bratwurst and then grill them to the nice and crispy and they're, they're gonna be incredible, great stuff. Well, we're cooking the bratwurst right over a charcoal grill. We have the skillet right over the hot coals. And I never use propane when I'm grilling because propane rots the soul, in fact. Actually, food just tastes better when cooked on a charcoal grill. It's maybe not as convenient, but the food is definitely tastier. And always when you're cooking with charcoal, have two zones, we've got no coals over here, so we get a cool side. We've got the hot zone here. We're going to boil up the bratwurst, slide over the skillet, and then we're going to grill these bratwursts up till they're nice and crispy. They're going to be incredible, really, really tasty. In addition to bratwurst, we also have some really cool veal sausage from our friends at Whole Foods. So we're going to cook them the bratwurst style. They'll come out perfect. They'll be tasty. But uh, it's something new, a little bit different, but it's, it's all good. It's a tailgate. How nice and crispy these are. These are going to be perfect. Basically, we're just steaming some vegetables and some beer and butter, a little salt and pepper, beer, butter, put it in a tin, put some foil on top of it, nice and tight, throw it on top of the grill, and we'll have some beautiful vegetables in just a couple minutes. Perfect. Deep frying is a lot of fun. It makes great, tasty food, but it's also very dangerous, even in an experienced hand. So I wanted to go over five safety tips you need to know before breaking out the deep fryer. One, never attempt to deep fry indoors. Every Thanksgiving, someone burns down his or her house because he or she tried to use a deep fryer indoors. Always deep fry outside and always keep a safe distance from your house or garage in case an accident happens. Two, keep children and pets away from the deep fryer. That hot bubbling oil is very dangerous, and we all know how fast toddlers can move. Never use a deep fryer when little children and pets are running around. Three, know your equipment and your birds. You need to know how much oil will safely fit in your deep fry pot. You can first test the displacement of a turkey by filling the pot with cold water. Turkey should be small, no larger than 12 pounds in a 30-quart pot. In my big deep fryer, I go no bigger than 15 pounds. Four, use high-quality equipment. That means a sturdy deep fryer base and deep fry pot, propane tanks with the appropriate connections and shutoffs, and high quality gloves for protecting yourself when adding and removing the bird. Five, and certainly the most important rule, shut off your fuel source when adding the bird. This is an essential tip. The oil bubbles dramatically when you first add the turkey. If it bubbles over the side of the deep fryer into the flame, you'll have a massive fire real fast. So shut off the fuel source for a few seconds until the turkey has settled down, and then you're good to go. Okay, time for me to get back to work. Meanwhile, my pal Kelly is out talking to some of our tailgating friends about their favorite Thanksgiving traditions. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving Day is probably uh, the turkey, the dressing, being with friends and family, and um, just enjoying a good day of football. Having Bloody Marys, and then going to watch my high school, which I've been out for quite a few years, wink, wink. And what about Thanksgiving Day? What's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? More football, are you kidding me? Thanksgiving is a more relaxing holiday than all the rest, and that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite. You can just sit around, eat, eat turkey dinner together, just 
just chill out with the family. So Thanksgiving's really good because we play a little football in the morning with all the kids. We go eat a little meal and you watch some football later on in the day on the TV. It's great. What is your favorite thing to do when you tailgate? You're looking at it. Bags. Custom made Patriots bags. Biggest fan ever. So what is your favorite thing about tailgating? I like the camaraderie amongst fans. You know, you can just walk around other people's tailgates, hang out, drink beers together, play bags together. It's just always a lot of fun. Definitely the Patriots fans and the beer. Favorite thing about tailgating is all our friends getting together. We get to enjoy some drinks, fun times, good food outside, nice day like today. So tailgating is a big American tradition. So what do you love about it? Being with my buddies, enjoying the day, rooting for your home team. What else could you want? We don't care what conditions are out there, rain, snow, sleet, it doesn't matter. We're better than the mailman. We will show up here and we will do exactly what we do, eat, drink, and be merry. The heck with the meal, I like the football. <laughs> so forget about the turkey, you don't need yeah, the stuffing, the, the vegetables. No, 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 just, I like to, just being thankful for what I got in football. Well, we have our football expert, Kerry Byrne, who's cooking our Thanksgiving meal right now back at the tailgate, so let's check in with him. Thanks, Kelly. You're supposed to cook a turkey at 350 degrees, and so I like to get it close to 400 because when you ditch the cold bird in, it's going to drop right down. So we're just over 350 now, so another minute or two, we'll put it in. But we're, we're going to do two different kinds of birds. We're going to do a, a Cajun style that we're going to inject, but this one here is what I call a New England style. We get it rubbed in some bell seasoning and Old Bay, and it's just going to get a lot of poultry spices and salt on it. And the skin, when we're, gone, when we're done, the skin's going to taste like bacon. And who doesn't like bacon? So we're going to kind of a bacon and turkey mix. It's going to be great. Next thing we're going to do is inject a bird and make a Cajun-style hot turkey. This is like surgery on a, a tailgate surgery is what this is. You'll, watch, you'll actually see the bird expand if you put in the, if you inject and marinate in there. Sauce is Frank's Red Hot, butter, some bell seasoning to give it a kind of a, uh, you know, Thanksgiving flavor to it. It's a lot of aromatic poultry herbs and some other random things I put in there to spice it up a bit. Some tasty stuff. the salt and pepper everything you know there we go kabang that's a thing of beauty isn't it Now that the bird's safely in there, I'm going to turn the fuel back on, get the temperature back up, because that temperature's going to drop pretty drastically when you put in that cold bird. So get the fuel back going, and this is going to be done about three minutes per pound, about 45 minutes, so we're going to have an incredibly tasty deep-fried turkey.